This is the story of Girl From Nowhere Season 2, Liberation. Buckle up, spoilers ahead. The episode starts Nano enters the school and takes a moment to observe her surroundings, pausing to examine her own hands, transitions to black and white. Nano takes the opportunity to introduce herself to her new classmates, takes a seat next to a girl named Mia. However, when Nano attempts to introduce herself to me, the teacher interrupts and reminds her to pay attention to the lessons. Later on, Nano drops an object which Mia picks up and returns to her. When the teacher inquires about the object, Mia covers for Nano by claiming it was just a pen. After that, the administrative department arrives in their classroom and announces that they will be conducting random checks on students' belongings. Nano pretends to be afraid and clings tightly to her bag until one of the students forcibly takes it from her. Nano protests, stating that the search is a violation of her privacy. The teacher intervenes, reminding Nano that the students must obey the orders of their teachers. The teacher proceeds to search Nano's bag, emptying its contents but finding nothing. Nano simply smiles in response. After the search is completed, the administrative department leaves the room and Nano proceeds to put on a makeup. Despite Mia's attempt to stop her, Nano ignores her and applies red lipstick. The next day, the school director makes an announcement about the school rules. Nano is seen in the cafeteria with Mia during this time. While in the cafeteria, Mi cautions Nano to be careful because their school has strict punishments. Nano brushes off her warning with a laugh, but Mi insists that this is not a joke. She proceeds to tell Nano about two empty desks in their classroom which belongs to New and Jelly. Mi explains that Jelly had argued with the teacher B and had thrown an eraser at her for giving a wrong answer. Meanwhile, New had recorded the incident on his phone with the intention of exposing Teacher B's actions. However, the teacher caught him and confiscated the phone. Mio continues to warn Nano about the seriousness of breaking the school rules and mentioned that no one has heard from New and Jelly since their incident. Nano, however, seems interested by the concept of the Room of Repentance and even find it amusing. Just then a teacher A enters the cafeteria and approaches Nano, noticing the lipstick on her lips. She forcibly removes the lipstick and gives Nano a light punishment, ordering her to recite the 427 school rules in the middle of the field. Nano stands in the middle of the field, places the book on her head, and begins to recite the school rules while waving like a beauty queen, much to her own amusement. However, one of the students who was guarding her calls Teacher A. When Teacher A arrives, Nano shows her a lighter that she had been hiding, seemingly mocking her. She then proceeds to burn the school rule book, stating that there is no rule that prohibits her from doing so. Teacher A, infuriated by Nano's actions, ordered the guards to take her to the Room of Repentance. Nano is taken to the Room of Repentance, where Teacher A activates a button that allows her to listen in on the conversations inside. One student apologizes to Teacher A and begs release, claiming that they have already repented for their actions. Teacher A then addressed Jelly, asking if she is ready to return to the outside world. She also asked New, but he denies wrongdoing and refuses to apologize. Teacher A declares that dealing with stubborn students like New and Jelly is easy, and threatens to compile their names on unpleasant lists, which would ruin their chances of getting into a good university. Student protests, but Teacher A insists that she has done it before, 
She continues to threaten them until New finally apologizes. Teacher A then releases New and Jelly from the room of repentance, but pushes Nano inside and makes her sit in a chair with speakers blaring the school rules in her ears nonstop. In this scene, Teacher A is in her office holding Nano's confiscated lipstick. As she tries to put it on, she is interrupted by two students' guards who inform her of a problem. Meanwhile, Nano is seen wearing a green ribbon in their classroom. And when asked about her punishment, she tells me that she just had to listen to the school rules in a dark room. Everyone is surprised that Nano's behavior hasn't changed, unlike Jelly who has changed and New who is absent for school due to sickness. And then Teacher A and Teacher B are at the door. And Teacher A is perplexed about how Nano managed to leave the room of repentance when she hadn't let her out. Nana complained about being bored and annoying by the noise, and said that the room wasn't scary at all. Suddenly, someone cleared their throat, and everyone immediately sat properly. Teacher A approached Nano and planted a cigarette in her pocket, pretending that Nano was smoking. As a result, Nano was taken back to the room of repentance, although Teacher A tried to intimidate Nano by turning the lights on and off, Nano remained indifferent. The following day, Nano returned to the class with purple hair, and everyone was laughing and cheering for her. However, Teacher A and Teacher B appeared at the door once again and dragged Nano back to the room of repentance. Teacher A questioned Nano about her desire, to which Nano responded that she wanted Teacher B to confess to her mistake and for Teacher A to acknowledge that she planted the cigarette in Nano's pocket. Nano also wanted the headmaster to admit his failure to take care of the students. Teacher B forcefully held Nano's face, while Teacher A yanked out Nano's tongue piercing. This caused Nano's mouth to bleed. But Teacher A seems pleased with her action. Afterwards, Teacher A retreated to her office and gazed at her lipsticks once again. Yuri entered Teacher A's office and introduced herself, expressing her interest in becoming a Tron Patrol in the school. At first, Teacher A seems disinterested, but Yuri caught her attention by revealing that she used to attend the same school as Nano and knew how to handle her. Yuri then showed Teacher A evidence of a group of students planning to break school rules. Despite this, a group of students were caught and punished in the school gymnasium. One of the guys in the group was confused about how the school found out about their plan. Teacher A and Yuri were upstairs observing the students who had been punished below. While Yuri searched for information in Teacher A's office, the headmaster addressed the student and asked if they had repented for their actions. Urging them to follow the school rules, the students were dismissed after his speech. Later, Nano found a gift from Yuri in her classroom, along with a top secret message. They met and discussed their plans for the school. Nano was ready to expose evidence of the rule keepers breaking school rules by spreading it around the school. However, Teacher A caught her in the act and asked what she was doing. Nano revealed that she wanted to see how the student would react. Teacher A intervened as Nano attempted to spread evidence. Yuri recorded the confrontation, but in the scuffle, she pushed Nano, causing her to be impaled on a pole. Yuri then falsely accused the teacher A of pushing Nano and demanded to see the papers she was holding. Teacher A claimed the papers were fake, so Yuri threw them down to the students below, who discovered their contents. Yuri also shared the video of a teacher A allegedly pushing Nano, which led to chaos among the students. They began attacking school teachers and the headmaster, while Yuri walked around the school with a sense of satisfaction. After Teacher A's death, chaos erupted among the students, and they start to blame each other. Yuri, however, seems to be enjoying the chaos until a gunshot was heard. 
The director then appeared and offered to forgive and forget everything if the students repented for their actions. He then singled out Yuri and asked the students to raise their hands if they thought she was responsible for everything. In the final scene, Nano revealed herself to everyone, and the director pointed his gun at her. The student took out their phones and started recording. Nano challenged the director to shoot her, but he couldn't do it. Meanwhile, Nano locked Yuri inside the room together with her clones and gave the key to Mia. Mi was being freed among with other students. The story ended up with Yuri's emerging from the room with blood all over her face and screaming. In my opinion, this highlights the hypocrisy of the rule keepers who break the rules themselves. It's a common occurrence in real life where those in power and authority who are tasked to uphold the law are often the ones who break it. This is exemplified by the school teachers and the headmaster punish the students of their transgressions while committing their own sins. The show reminds us that having a power and authority doesn't give anyone the right to break the rules and get away with it. If you like the explanation and the recap, please leave like and subscribe. See you on my next video. Thank you for watching.